So on the final day of the 2012 Oceania Championships, it was the might and power of Daniela Molmenti of Italy and the Olympic champion Alexander Grimm of Germany that dominated the K1 final. Molmenti, a great final run, and Grimm, just with a penalty, squeezing in a second ahead of his teammate Sebastian Schubert, the winner of the Australian Open just two weeks ago. Today we had uh, finally a good slalom course, I think. It was just one combination, a bit tricky, that many good athletes, they had a problem there. It was also at the bottom of the race, so where, we, where everyone is pretty tired. So I'm pretty happy that it was still fresh there, because home preparation is for the second, second half of the race, you know, and there was still a I was fresh and was really focused still, till till the finish line. And I think the different almost I did it there. For Australia, Lucien Delfour shows his promise for the World Cup season ahead with another sixth place finish in the final. And Warwick Draper, a relieved Warwick Draper, claiming the Australian nomination for the Olympic spot by being the best placed Australian in the semi final. For the C1 women, it was an Aussie, 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 one, two, three, Jess Fox, Ros Lawrence, and Leanne Guinea in a very close and high quality final. And um, yeah, it felt good on the water and I was really excited to race. So, yeah. And to close out the competition in the men's C2 event, it was Marcin Pokvola and Peter Szczepanski of Poland who upset the newly formed German crew of Franz Anton and Jan Benzin with Fabien Lefebvre and Denis Gargo Chanou of France taking third, a penalty costing them the win. The, the final run was uh, uh, six uh, seconds faster than, uh, than semi-final runs and it was a very good run and in the, in the final the, the, the good first position yeah so we are very happy with this and that completes two great weekends of competition here at the Penrith Whitewater Stadium and now many of the international athletes return home with their ambitions for an Olympic berth in London 2012 fueled by their performances here in Australia